Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll dive into nine cheap but awesome things. And if you've been a subscriber, you probably know that we did a video about 10 cheap but awesome things in 2018, and it was so popular, that we decided to bring you some more. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out here, and keep in mind all the links to all the products we mentioned here in the other videos can be found on our website. <laughs> We always like it when you look sharp. And so we're starting off with feather razor plates. We've talked many times about the benefits of the double-edged razor on our channel before. We even put together an in-depth guide that you can find here. Personally, my favorite blade is the feather blade because it is the sharpest and I have relatively thick beard hair. <laughs> Feather blades are made of platinum-coated, high-quality Japanese steel, and the company is headquartered in Osaka and was founded in 1932. Feather double-edged razor blades are famous for being extremely sharp. So if you're still perfecting the art of shaving, it's not a blade we'd recommend. Also, if you're very thin here, it may not be the best blade, but head over here to our guide on double-edged shaving and you'll learn what to get instead. Some men, even though they may have sensitive skin or very thin hair, still like the feather blades because it gives them the feeling of a very close shave with a baby butt result. To prevent any razor burn, you wanna change out the blade after every second or third shave. And to learn more about shaving mistakes, check out this video here. No matter if you use a feather DE razor blade or one from a different manufacturer, it'll always save you money. Among the DE blades, feathers are more expensive, but they are the sharpest. So a box of 100 blades costs around $35 or 35 cents a piece. If you shave three times with it, it's a cost per shave of 12 cents, which is extremely cheap. Other cartridge systems will cost you a multiple of that, sometimes even more than a dollar per shave. Apart from that, double-edged razor blades produce a lot less waste, so it's better for landfills and at a cost of just 12 cents per shave, you get a fantastic product. Now that's what I call cheap but awesome. Our number two on the list is the smoked Malden sea salt. Why a smoked salt? It helps to enhance the flavors and aromas of your food. The Malden Salt Company comes from Essex in England and was founded in 1882. The special thing about their salt is that it has these relatively large crystals and if you look at it, you might think it's extremely salty, but in fact, it's not, which is why it's a wonderful finishing salt that looks really nice on your dishes, but it's not overpowering. Yes, it's still salty, but compared to conventional salt, the same volume is less salty. They only use natural ingredients as well as oak chips to get that subtle smoky flavor that's not overpowering, but just rounding out the flavors of your meal. I love pairing it with all sorts of red meats, but I also use it for stews and you can use it for basically anything you want. If you don't like the smoky flavor, they also have non-smoked sea salts, which are also really nice as a finishing salt. Price-wise, you can buy a container for around $5 for around four and a half ounces, which gets you to about $17 per pound. So now let's jump from food to close maintenance. Number three is a sleeve ironing board. If you ever wear a dress shirt without a jacket, or if you have a jacket and it needs to be ironed, then you must have a sleeve ironing board. Why? Well, it's the easiest, quickest, and pretty much only way to get a sleeve without a stark iron increase. While some people might not mind them on a dress shirt, I certainly do. And if you have a jacket, a crease down the center of your sleeve just looks terrible. Considering it costs just $12 ship, an ironing sleeve board is one of those tools every gentleman must have in his collection. Now, if you want to learn more about how to iron like a pro and what other tools are useful when it comes to ironing, please check out our in-depth video series here. Item number four is a flexible measuring tape. If you ever want to order clothes online or if you have clothes alterations, you want a quality, flexible measuring tape that doesn't get longer or shorter as it ages. You may assume all measuring tapes are created equal, but that's not true. Some are super flimsy, others are quite rigid. Some have numbers that rub off and others change their size over time. We found that the Singer brand measuring tapes have 
stayed in good shape for years and we can use them over and over again. Sometimes they can be harder to find. You might spot them at antique shops or at flea markets. And if you can't find them, a vinyl or fiberglass tape is a good substitute. Cost is around two to four dollars, so it's extremely affordable. And I own many different measuring tapes. I even have some in my computer bags. Whenever I travel, I'll always have a measuring tape in case I need it. The fifth cheap but awesome item is the laundress stain solution. As noted in our guide on stain removal, it is best to apply a stain solution as soon as you can after the stain hits the garment, otherwise it has more time to set in. The laundress offers many high quality products, but we like their stain solution because it works for so many different stains. It's a solution that works best on organic stains such as tannins and proteins. So that would include wine, coffee, ink, grass, blood, or tomato stains. Personally, I love to cook and I've definitely gotten cherry juice on my clothes or pomegranate stains. And this laundry solution has always helped to get them out right away. I also have a toddler, so sometimes she touches me with her greasy or dirty hands and I get stains on my clothes. And the laundry stain solution has always been a lifesaver for me. If I have stubborn stains, I apply it onto the garment and rub it in with a little brush. Then I just add the garment to the regular load of laundry. A bottle costs about $18 for 16 fluid ounces, which may sound like a lot at first, but I found that it lasts for around 200 stain treatments, which is quite a lot. And so it's less than 10 cents per stain, which is totally worth it in my book. So now let's move on to grooming with item number six, the CeraVe lotion. We've done different videos on moisturizing and grooming and skincare, but if you go to the very base level, you need something that provides a good amount of moisturization for your skin. Through the day, there are many opportunities for our skin to dry out. It can be the summertime heat or the dry air during the cold winters. It can be your excessively hot showers or the wrong soap that you use when you wash yourself. If your skin is insufficiently moist, it leaves it dry and itchy and uncomfortable. It's also unsightly. And while you can spend hundreds of dollars on brand name moisturizers, we found that the CeraVe does a really good job and it doesn't break the bank. So how does it keep your skin moist? Well, first of all, it's through ceramides. These are naturally occurring fatty molecules that basically insulate the moisture inside your skin. Secondly, it relies on hyaluronic acid, which is a naturally occurring acid that helps to retain moisture in your skin. CeraVe is also hypoallergenic, oil-free and fragrance-free, which is important, especially if you have sensitive skin. It also means there are no weird smells that conflict with your cologne and not a fatty or greasy film that remains on your skin. A bottle about 19 ounces costs around $18. The seventh cheap but awesome thing is a subscription to the Criterion channel. For a long time, there was a joke, hundreds of channels on TV, but nothing to watch. Lately, it has become a dozen subscriptions, but nothing to watch. Most major subscription services out there like Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon Prime try to cast a really wide net and offer various shows in various formats to just interest everybody. Criterion is different in the sense that they take a quality over quantity approach. Cinephiles may be already familiar with a Criterion collection, which was started in 1984. The goal was to make significant, important classic and contemporary movies available to a large number of people. In 2019, they entered a subscription service scheme and started the Criterion channel. There are over a thousand titles from the collection itself that include classics, art, foreign, and experimental movies. It's also one of the few streaming services where you can find works of, wait, let me read that. Akira Kurosawa, Michelangelo Antonioni, Busby Berkeley, and John Waters. Every month they offer rotating collections of films focused on a subject matter genre, which can help you finding new things that you might otherwise not have found or searched for. Because after all, you don't know what you don't know. Nearly all the films also contain bonus features such as interviews or behind the scenes documentaries. So if you're really into that stuff, this is the channel for you. 
price at 10.99 a month or 99 a year. It is definitely on par and even less expensive than Netflix, which costs $108 a year in the base version, or Amazon Prime, which is $120 for the year. As a clothes source, you can also find clothing inspiration from movies of Cary Grant, William Powell, Marcello Mastroianni, and Sidney Poitier. Maybe avoid taking any style cues from Freddie Bartholomew in Little Lord Fauntleroy, because Preston already got that one covered. The eighth cheap but awesome item is a sweet vermouth or red vermouth from Martini Rossi. Vermouth is basically a fortified wine, meaning liquor is added to wine and it is enhanced with botanicals to achieve a different flavor profile. There are basically two main varieties, the dry, pale or white vermouth, which is just slightly aromatized. And there is the red sweet vermouth, which is more heavily aromatized, sometimes also with beets. Vermouth in general is a very versatile drink that can be enjoyed on its own. Personally, I like to mix up in Manhattans or whenever a cocktail asks for vermouth. One of the oldest manufacturers of vermouth is the company Martini Rossi from Italy, which was founded just outside Turin in 1863. The company is famous for its vintage ad campaigns, and you can find many great posters, which make great wall decorations. It has been theorized that the name of the Martini cocktail came from the Martini Rossi Vermouth. In the US, you can buy a bottle of 750 milliliters for around $12. It's a good quality vermouth that I personally enjoy and have used. Now, is it the best vermouth in the world? In my opinion, no. I prefer the Carpano Antica Formula, which in the US costs $35 for a 750 milliliter bottles or 20 bucks for a half size bottle. Of course, as with everything regarding your palate, taste is very subjective. So you have to figure out for your own what you like. Another contender to throw in there is the Dolan Vermouth, and it costs also like $12 for a 750 milliliter bottle. Also keep in mind that wild vermouth is a fortified wine and it won't spoil per se like a regular wine. It will definitely deteriorate over time. So it's best to either consume it quickly, which means within two or three months, or to just go with smaller bottles so you can achieve that goal. The last but not least cheap but awesome item are the journal books by Peter Popper. Yes, we may live in a digital age, but there truly is no substitute for an old school journal. Of course, there are many uses for a journal. You can use it as a commonplace book. You can utilize it to just write down any notes or things that are on your mind. You can actually use it to journal, meaning you write things down so you kind of take pressure of your mind and you can unwind and relax and not think about thousands of things all the time. It also makes for a great gift and newlywed gentlemen should keep in mind that traditionally, paper goods were the traditional one year anniversary gift. Peter Popper Press has been producing journals since 1928 and they all have a unique kind of artistic look with gold edging. And considering they're just 10 to $20, most of them being like around $13, you really get something that looks a lot more impressive than that. Each journal features a unique cover image that's either inspired by works of art or vintage books. The binding is solid and durable and has the right amount of give. Our scriptwriter, Ab Daniels, has been using the journal for months and he hasn't found any loose folios or cracked bindings. So it's definitely a solid quality product. Also, the acid-free archival quality paper takes ink from a fountain pen extremely well, which can't be said of all journals. The paper is also thick enough so it doesn't bleed through to the next page. So if you like fountain pens, it's definitely one thing to consider. Size at eight and a half by six and a half inches or 21.6 by 15.6 centimeters. They're portable yet big enough to actually write things down without feeling cramped. Honestly, looking at them, you'd never think they're as cheap as they actually are. So if none of the items we listed here appeal to you, or if they're beyond your budget, check out our in-depth archives in the Gentleman's Gazette. We have hundreds of videos, more than a thousand guides that are all free to you, full of interesting tidbits, history, and practical knowledge. Also, if you know of products that are cheap but awesome that we haven't mentioned, please share them in the comments below so we can make a part three in this series. 
today's video is built around a cheap jacket from McKinnon of Scotland that I picked up for under 20 bucks at a consignment store. I'm pairing it with a bow tie in red and blue small paisley, which I picked up for less than a dollar at an estate sale. My shirt is light blue with a fine stripe. My vest is from Cordings in a light fawn color that picks up the earthy tones of the jacket. My pants are corduroys from Polo Ralph Lauren and my shoes are unlined chaka boots in a natural color. They're contrasting with my pants, but pick up this earthy color scheme of the rest of the outfit. My socks are two-tone solids in red and blue cotton by Fort Belvedere that tie everything together, particularly the bow tie, which has the same colors. My pocket square is also from Fort Belvedere and it's a light blue linen one that picks up the color of the shirt, thus looking harmonious and you can find it in our shop. <laughs> Thank you.